Among the hundreds of thousands of people affected by the shutdown, its impact is especially felt by Native American communities, which rely on diminishing federal funds for access to health care and other services. Joining us now, member of the House Energy and Commerce Committee, Republican Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen of Oklahoma. He's a member of the Cherokee Nation, which represents 19 Native American tribes in his district. Thank you very much for being on the show this morning. Morning. Uh, I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to hear a lot about the impact on the Native American community. I understand you're especially concerned, with good reason. But can I start by asking if if you uh, if you are so concerned about the impact, why aren't we voting to end the shutdown? Well, I think it takes two sides. Look, right now there's a lot of federal workers and uh, Native Americans that are held political hostage because. We're at an impasse. Uh, I don't think the president is asking uh, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer to do anything that they haven't done, and that's to vote on border security. Uh, and so we're running a national risk, but we're doing it at the so at the so cost of uh, people that are innocent in this fight. Right, but and and these are people that you're especially concerned about. Uh, the impasse is over. Uh, this billion dollar funding for a border wall well, isn't the border there a way to put that a, decision <laughs> off isn't that isn't there a way to put that decision off perhaps and vote to reopen the government which well, is something that have. I would think that you would want well, we have. For two years, we've been saying we're going to get this done for the president, but we're at such an impasse now with the national security risk we're running on the border. The president is just saying, hey, do this again. They voted on it in 2006 with the Secure Fence Act. That was for $52 billion. At this right here, we're asking for $5.7 billion. Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer both, both voted for that. And in 2013, they did it again. So the only reason why we're here is because of a political promise, and they see it as a political gain for the president. Nancy and Chuck both go to the same meetings that we go to, and they both know it's a national mm -hmm. security risk we have on our southern border. So we shouldn't okay, even we be might, in this fight if people would do that. Right. We might agree to disagree on whether the wall actually does that. But let me ask you about decision clearly you have to make politically. What's more important to you, the wall or the impact of the shutdown on Native Americans in your district? Well, the most important thing is national security risk. And we know that so there's the a national security is risk on the southern at border. This point, so the wall is more important at this point than ending the shutdown and the impact we, it has on your constituents. When we have the amount of drugs, we ha when we have uh, right now 300 people a week being killed by accidental overdoses because of the drugs flowing in from our southern border and we have all the criminal activity that's happening on our southern border, when we have a humanitarian mm -hmm. crisis coming across our southern border, yes, that is a huge concern. But, but Native Americans shouldn't be in this fight. And the reason why they shouldn't because it's a federal obligation based on a trust. And the trust was because they the United States forcefully moved, forcefully moved Native Americans from their traditional lands years ago and said, if you go from where you're traditionally at to someplace other, like my family got moved to Oklahoma, yeah. then in return, yeah. we're going to we're going to take care of your health care. And this shouldn't so, be a fight. This shouldn't be caught up in this fight. Right, right. I'm just curious. Are you telling your constituents that the wall will stop the drugs from coming in the ports of entry? Are, are you I'm telling your is constituents this going to that a wall is going to solve these problems? Is that it's what not you are telling the wall. them? It's not just the wall, it's border security too. Part of the $5.7 billion, $805 million of it is to help scan vehicles coming across our port of entries. Right now only 20% of the vehicles get scanned coming into the United States, yet, yet we've caught 1.7 million pounds of narcotics. With $850 million, we can inspect 100% of the vehicles as they flow in. Can you imagine the amount of drugs we can stop? I mean, what, I what is imagine. one life Why worth? guys agree on that amount of money and put off the decision on the wall since that's holding up the government. Well, it's look, shutting it you, down and your constituents are hurting. This is on yeah, you. You have people, to decide what you want at about, this point. I, I agree with that, but people want to argue about the wall doesn't work. Well, look at what's happened in San Diego and El Paso. Since we built the wall in the 90s, we've seen over a 90% downturn on illegal crossing. So a wall does work. I personally have a fence around our property to keep people out. Mm -hmm. um, I, I have no so, problem with having security for my family, and all we're saying is let's have security for the entire country. So that four plus billion dollars for that wall, you say to your constituents, will keep the drugs from coming in this country. I'm going to say we're going to cut it down. 
We're going to cut, it, it, look, if we cut, if we cut the drug flow into the United States down by half, right now you're more likely to be killed by a drug overdose than by a car accident. That's the first time in U.S. history. We have a drug epidemic taking place inside the United States, and Native Americans are hit unproportionately high by that. If you look at the ratio of, of, uh, of race, Native Americans are hit the highest. So we got, not only do we have IHS, but we have a horrible problem with narcotics. When you have 90 percent of the heroin now coming inside the United States is coming through our southern border. Yeah, there's a huge issue. And three out of four opioids, uh, opioid addicted individuals say they started because of the opioids and now they switched to heroin. So um, tell me about your constituents, especially Native Americans who are being impacted by the shutdown. Exactly how and do these constituents believe that a wall would stop everything that you just laid out there, the drugs coming in and the crime coming into the country. Is that the equation that they are making? Do they believe you? You know, when I sit down and I talk to them, which I'll be talking to, to them again tomorrow, I talk to them all the time when they call into my office, I explain it. They get it. Mm -hmm. They sit there and go, we understand it. It's just, it, it, it just is really horrible, the position that, that I find myself in. And I apologize to them. I say, look, I'm sorry you're being held political hostage, but this is a bigger picture. People sometimes ask me if it's worth it. I think it depends on your perspective. If you're one of the individuals that's lost a loved one because of some illegal activity or a drug overdose or someone that got hit in a head-on collision or they were killed by a violent crime from a legal crossing, uh, I think they would say, yes, every life matters. If you're one of the 800,000 employees that's furloughed, um, you're going to find a mixed bag of information there. But a lot of them that I talk to, they understand the fight. They just don't like it. All right. Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen, thank you very much for hey, being on the absolutely. show this morning. Thank you for giving me the time. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Still ahead, President Trump and Kim Jong-un trade compliments. That's coming up straight ahead on Morning Joe. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.